Hey guys, so today I am here to show you my January hits in a God knows and I know these have been long awaited. The universe stopped me from posting this earlier. So finally, I am here today to show you my favorite products of the month of January plus my least favorite product of the month. <laughs> but before we start anything, I know a lot of people are nominated for this. But here I go. I got nominated for a shorty award. Even though I'm six foot two, I got nominated for a shorty award. And a shorty award is like the Golden Globes, the Oscars, and the Grammys combined into one prize for social media. And I'm nominated for the category beauty or guru or something that has to do with makeup. I never get nominated for stuff like this. So when I saw my name up there, I was like, is that me? Same fun who this? I am so crazy on honored that I am nominated for this. So if you have some spare time, then I have a link down below and you can vote for me. So many amazing, talented people are nominated. So there's not a chance, there's not a chance in hell I'm ever gonna win that. But hey, if you got some spare time, you can vote for me. If you don't wanna vote for me, it's cool, it's fine. I still love you. I still love you. <laughs> Second thing that has nothing to do with makeup, but is already a huge, huge hit of the month of January. I got some help done with my lips again in the month of January after a year of nothing. And baby, my doctor, Dr. Whitney, if you're watching this girl, I love you so much. There is no one like you who, who just helps my lips out just with a, a little bit of love. But without any further ado, let's go on to my hits of January. All right, this first one you can feel coming. The Juvia Saharan palette, this launched this month. Okay, if you're new here, hi, my name is Nikki, and Juvia's Place eyeshadows are my favorite formula because they are super duper rich in pigment. They blend like a dream. They are easy to work with. They have minimal fallout. They are just, the quality is so magical. Plus, they're super, super, I don't know how they do it because last time I checked, pigment costs a lot of money, and their eyeshadows are cheap. So their eyeshadows are my absolute favorite. So when I saw that they came out with a brand new palette this month, I was head over heels. I was so excited. I love these colors because there are so many possibilities with this one. You got your neutrals, you got your high impact shimmers of like gorgeousness. You got a black, you got a beautiful stunning inner corner highlight. This palette's just got it all. It's only $28. Let me show you this goldish greenish color, clean finger. Let me, so I want to three, one, two, gabam, assemble. The, the pigment on this palette is absolutely surreal. It's my favorite eyeshadow formula and um, I really, really love this. Next up is something you already felt coming as well. This foundation combination has been lit. These are the L'Oreal Infallible Foundations in Pro Glow and Total Cover. You know I like my high-end makeup, but I've been venturing into drugstore makeup a lot more because, you know, let's be honest here, everyone loves a good drugstore find. And these two right here, Oh my gosh, ever since I tried this in a video this month on my channel, I haven't been able to put this combo down. On themselves, they're great, but I feel together, they're like this magic act that just work f just beautifully on the skin. The Pro Glow gives you that healthy shine and glow from within look, while the Total Cover gives you that total cover. <laughs> it gives you that coverage that you want. It can be buildable, but it's mostly full coverage and it just makes your skin look so phenomenal. It just, it's like the perfect mix of coverage and like healthy glow. And I love this. It's affordable. It's from the drugstore. They have light enough colors because I am white as paper and it matches me. I'm wearing it today. I love this stuff. A primer that I've been falling in love with is by Becca. This is called the Ever Met Poreless Priming Perfector. Now this always scared me away. One, because so many people have put negative reviews on this out there. And two, I have super dry skin and anything mattifying or like oil absorbing is like a nightmare to me. It's like Freddy Krueger coming to hunt me. This primer right here, if you put it on the fingertips, rub it in and then dab it onto your oily parts where your makeup gets oily the quickest. For me, that is center of forehead, size of nose, like right in that little crevice. 
uh, top of nose, chin, corners of my mouth. That is where I get the oiliest the quickest. And this really helps me fight that. I went to Gym Beauty for the first time in my life ever and I had a meet and greet there with Ofra and I put this on my oily parts and my skin looked bomb all day. Usually after like a couple of hours, I know it's time for a touch up, like I need some powder, especially during Gym Beauty. But then I looked into a mirror and I was fine. So this has really helped making my makeup more long, long wearing and it's just it's a good product. Another highlighter I've been loving is by Laura Geller. Now, Laura Geller highlighters and I haven't really been the best of friends because everyone was talking about Gilded Honey. I bought Gilded Honey, looked like shit on me. It was too dark for me. It didn't really bling on my face. So when I saw this color right here at Ulta, I I was hesitant because I was like, um, if this is gonna treat me like Gilded Honey treated me, I'm not gonna have a fun experience. So I still went ahead and bought this and I wore it in a couple of videos this month and this is so, so pretty. It is called Charming Pink and it is, like the name, it is just a charming pink. It is a very nicely blinding glow, but with a pink touch. So it's gonna give you that beautiful radiance but with a pink touch. Okay, talking about Gem Beauty earlier, I wore this lip color to Gem Beauty day one. Usually don't ever do this. When you have an important day, use products, stick to products that you know work for you. But I was feeling, <laughs> I was feeling a little adventurous and wanted to try new products out. So I recently bought a couple of the MAC liquid lipsticks. They're called Retro Matte Liquid Lip Colors. And I wore this color to Gem Beauty and I was nervous because liquid lipsticks for me crumble really fast or they dry my lips out or whatever. It was pretty ballsy <laughs> to wear this new formula to such an important big day. Still did it and oh my gosh, I fell in love. I think, and I'm gonna say it, my favorite formulas in liquid lipsticks are Ofra, but this one right here by MAC is coming so close. This just stays on your lips so beautifully. It doesn't crack, it doesn't crumble. When the color fades a little bit, it's like a beautiful gradient, so it looks like it was supposed to be there. The formula on this is just so unreal. It lasts for the longest time. You barely need touch-ups. The colors are phenomenal. The pigment is insane. And I really, really recommend these. I know a couple of new colors launched recently and I cannot wait to get my hands on that. But this right here, get on it. Try it, go to your local MAC counter and swatch them because they're really, really nice. Okay, what else, what else? The Stila, and I know pretty much every guru is talking about these right now. The Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadows are holy crackers on a bike. <laughs> Someone Photoshop that for me so I can see what that looks like. These are so insane, like they are, so insane. We all know that Stila had those magnificent metal eyes. Basically, they never really worked for me because I would apply them. When they dried in, it would kind of crumble off of my eyes throughout the day. So when I saw these, I was hesitant. And especially when I put them on my Snapchat, a lot of people said, you're gonna love the, the colors and the payoff. But once they dry, they're gonna crumble and flake off. Just what the hell, what the hell? I live for this color right here. This is called Molten Midnight. It's a black with like packed, packed with like so much glitter and gore. Do, do you see this? Oh. So pretty much I bought these, but then everyone after my snap started telling me that they flake off and really just fall off your eyeballs after a couple minutes once they dry in. Now personally, I haven't experienced this. I use my Max Soft Orca Paint Pot. Um, I will say though, I wore one color to Gem Beauty Day 1. Because of those tweets, I got a little insecure about the product, so I packed an eyeshadow over top while the product was still wet and it stayed on my eyes all day long. I didn't have any crumbliness or falling out or whatever, it stayed on perfectly. So if you wanna be sure that this stays on all day long, I recommend setting this with a shadow that is close in color. But I've even worn these without setting them with a the shadow and they stay on my lids perfectly fine for me. Um, maybe, um, if you are experiencing the fallout, maybe try a different primer. Just, mm, just, just look at it. Just the, uh, 
I'm done. My gosh, how could I forget? The Pure Identity. I found out about this product because of Mac Daddy, Angel. He was showing this off on Snapchat. And I was so intrigued because I have super dry under eyes. And usually I find my ways with like concealer and foundation to fight that. But then once I go in with my bake, with my powder, it just, I started from, I like go back to the start. It's like back to zero. So when he talked about the pure identity on his Snapchat saying that it helped his concealer look flawless and that it just made his under eyes look great. I was like, okay, I'm sold. I want to try it right now. Personally for me, it has really made a difference in my makeup makeup application where my concealer looks more smooth it, it just, it, my under eyes look more hydrated and taken care of even when I bake. You know, baking is so beautiful and baking is so nice for keeping that makeup on, but it can make you look older or drier. And to fight that, you really have to moisturize your under eyes. And I find that with the Pure Identity, I mean, I have talked about this milk makeup stick, the cooling water stick, and I think this is great, but this one works better for dehydration dry under eyes so um, that's why I'm not including this in this video because I feel like this one does all the work for this one real quick the elf prep and hydrate balm stick is awesome for dry skin at first I was a little bit skeptical because I felt like you know how is you know not to be mean but how is a a cheaper brand like elf gonna give me all that moisture and hydration that I need usually cheaper brands don't um, give you that I was so wrong this gives me all I want plus more it just makes my skin feel so nourished like I said in videos it doesn't keep my makeup on longer or does anything for my pores it's just pure and solo hydration and moisturizing all right if you follow me on snapchat Last product, I swear. If you follow me on Snapchat, you've seen this mask make some appearances a lot of times. This right here is by Ofra. It is called the Ofra Peptide Whitening Mask. This mask has stolen my heart. The first time I read it, I was like, whitening mask? What do you mean? Does it got bleach in it? No, it does not have bleach in it. It's not gonna lighten your skin tone. But I more so feel like what it does is when you have like acne or pimples or little breakouts and they have a lot of redness or you have hyperpigmentation. I believe there is goji acid in here, kojic acid. And what kojic acid does is take hyperpigmentation or redness and kind of deals with it and gets it over with. It's like a quick, smooth breakup. When I take this mask off, I am left with smaller looking pores. My skin is so so soft like it feels like velvet i have less redness in my skin it's just everything i want in a mask pretty much is this right here so yeah if you are not following me on snapchat yet add me it's sneaky tutorials and you will see this mask a lot of times i know a lot of you went out and bought this because of me on snapchat and it makes me so happy because i really really believe in this mask and my skin has been looking really good with this. You can also use it as a spot treatment. So those were all my products for the month of January that stole my heart. And now let's focus on the products that broke my heart. Oh, yeah. No. All right, for my first so God note of the month of January, I hate to be doing this because I feel like every guru has been saying it this month. Uh, it pains me, but I'm sorry, I'm another one. Urban Decay Liquid Lipsticks. Oh, it's just so sad because the matte colors, I feel like, are pretty decent. They have good color payoff. They are pretty dry. Now, the colors that have a sheen or a glitter or anything weird to them that makes them non-matte, skip them, don't even look at them. I had trouble with one of the colors. I have a color right here. This is a red with like sparkles in it. I wore this in a tutorial that hasn't gone up yet because I'm still deciding if I want to put it off, you know. And at first I was like, oh, that's weird. That's not a lot of pigmentation. Once I started working the product in, it started building up on the inner rim of my mouth. And what it did was it would goop up and it would become so sticky, so crumbly and gritty. I was like, what, what, what is going on? I had to apply like four to five layers for it to become fully, fully opaque. And then when I wanted to take it off, it wouldn't come off because it's so waterproof. I think Urban Decay makes really cool, awesome products. 
but these liquid lipsticks need a little bit more love. Damn girl, no. My lasso god note of the month is by It Cosmetics. This right here is the It Bye Bye Makeup 3-in-1 Makeup Melting Cleansing Balm. And when I bought my Clinique Cleansing Balm, the one that takes your makeup off beautifully, I talked about it before, one of the girls at Sephora recommended this to me. They were like, try this out. It's cheaper. It pretty much does the same thing. And I think you're gonna like this one better. Bless her soul, but I didn't. I, this stuff is, oh my God. It takes your makeup off like in a jiffy. Like it gets your makeup off so fast. I feel like it takes my makeup off, but it also takes away any oils that my skin contained of keeping me moisturized. It like totally strips my face. That's not the worst part. The worst part here is the smell. When I first tried the Clinique Balm, I was amazed by how it took my makeup off. The smell was a little bit like, mm, I would have to get used to this. This, however, don't get used to it. You will never get used to it. Pretty much when I think of the movie House of Wax, you know, the movie where Paris Hilton dies. When I think of that movie, and I envision a scent. <laughs> like sometimes you like envision set, like what would this movie smell like? It would smell like this. This is what I imagine. Scary, horror, wax, villains smell like. So that's it guys. Those were all my hits and oh god notes for the month of January. What were yours? Let me know in the comment section down below. For a full list of every single product mentioned throughout this video, go to my description box below or NikkiTutorials.com. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, that all is Nikki Tutorials. As always, if you enjoyed watching this video, then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Again, I want to thank you so much for watching. I think January was awesome. How was your January how we're almost pretty much halfway through February already I'm so late but how's February treating you so far let me know I love you and hopefully I will see you guys on the next one which is gonna be tutorial on these eyes so I'll see you then bye